Yeah. That was right on the bottom. Um, well, it's not a nanny guy. <laughs> Going for a run on the yeah. bottom. It's not a nanny guy, let's say that. This morning we're down at Cape Jervis. Um, started the morning, pre dawn squid bite. The sun's up now, it's about 8 o'clock. But uh, yeah, we had a really cool session there in the shallows. Literally, you know a minute, two minutes from the boat ramp. Um, I think we've got a, a dozen or so squid, a few we let go and we've kept some as well for a feed. But we could literally stay here all morning and uh, get our bag limit, but we've got some other plans. We're gonna head out a bit wider now and um, maybe try a bit of a jig, find some ground to have a jig on and see if we can't target some nannies or red bite fish or whatever we're calling them. But um, yeah, wicked start to the day with some big squid some absolute monsters, some proper krakens. Got some cool footage to work through as well, so that's gonna be pretty good. I'll show you uh, I'll show you what we've got. Check these guys out. I need to um, need to get them all sorted now, but I'm gonna get some photos of the all the colours because yeah they're pretty wicked when they're all lit up like that. But um yeah, cool start to the day, some absolute krakens. Uh, in amongst the smaller squid there so yeah hopefully the trend of the day stays the same and we find what we're looking for with the with the jigging out deeper so righto stay with us and we'll see how we go all right so we're on our way over to um, check out some some reefs and we've seen a bit of bird action a few dolphins so we're hoping we might have some salmon action here for you so we're uh, going to head over and see what we can find. Sarah's ready to cast, so fingers crossed. You check that in for me, Sarah? Yeah, you can. It's all good? Yeah. Right, eh? Hey? Never turn down a bit of bird action, eh? Hey? Five, ten seconds, maybe count to ten. You saw some? Yeah. Salmon. I don't know what they are yet, but they're feeding right there, the dolphins. Yeah, let it sink. It might literally just be um, bait fish. It might just be dolphins and birds and no salmon. Always worth a try though.
bit of an update for you. We're just cruising along, looking for new ground, looking for um, any signs of life. We're about 50, 55 meters here, so just sort of um, checking the sounder and having a look at look at our charts to get an idea of where we might find some decent fish. We found a few borite markings, but nothing super concentrated or nothing concentrated yet so just uh, cruising along watching the sounder and hopefully we can find something otherwise we might head back to the squid spot anyway we'll keep you updated so yeah we've been sounding around for quite a while and um, finally found what we've been looking for so we're gonna have a drop on this uh, about 50 55 meters of water um, Show you the screen. I don't know if you can see that. I'll um, I'll get some screenshots off the screen and, and post them onto the video. But that's literally what we've been waiting for all, all morning. So now I just gotta um, get the drift right, put some jigs down, and hopefully they'll what we're looking for. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so literally um, been sounding around all morning. Found our first decent mark, first drop, literally first drop. I haven't even got myself sorted yet. And uh, here we are. Don't go too hard on him, those hooks are quite light. I've got a bit of a feeling that this is either gonna be a kingfish or a snapper, and uh, quite possibly a decent one too. Maybe not the nanny guy that we're after, but that's all right. We'll get him up, have a look and then get him back in. The birds are coming over to have a look. How's it fighting? That's good. <clears throat> well, I think we found the spot anyway. <laughs> Damn. Nice fish though, Sarah. This is going to be a PB. Oh, look at the size of that. <laughs> Holy sh... Damn. That's my best luck. <laughs> what they do yep and again really yep <laughs> that's another good snapper eh? I'd say we'll have to move yeah you're probably right hey <laughs> well right oh, back to the sounding game um, still searching at the moment, we're trying to get away from the snapper. We've got some pretty good spots locked in for two years time when the snapper van lifts. But uh, for now, we can't get a lure past them to get down to the bottom. So you can't target snapper at the moment in South Australia and we're certainly not trying to. We are trying to target Nanagai or any other reef fish other than snapper. But um, yeah, so far, only pulling up a good snapper, so. Yeah, we've moved on, sounding around, looking for structure, looking for uh, signs of life, and looks like we might have just come across something. We're in about 40 meters now, so we've gone up a little bit shallower. Um, yeah, the search continues. Righto, chat soon. Wonder if I'd be better connecting that a little bit closer to the front of the boat so it's not dragging around into our armor. Um, yeah fighting area yeah well Mr. Percival is going to take that for you fish on on the way up got him wonder if it's a salmon oi 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 You'll be right. You, you got heaps of room. If you need a hand, let me know. That was heaps high up, eh? That was like 20 meters or something. I wonder if it's a salmon up a bit higher. Unless it's another snap. Does it feel snappery? Head shaky and that? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
I just pulled it up off the bottom and then started twitching it. I reckon, yeah. Oh, shit. Not sure if you've been keeping up, but um, still struggling to get away from these pesky snapper. It's pretty hard to believe that um, there's a snapper ban on when you see how thick they are over here at the moment. But um, yeah, I guess it's for the best. We're gonna have to move because yeah, every, every jig we put down gets jumped on by a snapper. Even when we try and motor away from the snapper and we think we're clear, on our way up, we're retrieving our jigs, we're getting done by snapper again. Like, it's uh, pretty interesting. We're gonna have another crack at another few spots. We really wanna try and get some reefies, some nanny guy, and it'd be nice to take home a feed. But um, at this stage, we would have a esky full of snapper. But yeah, they've gotta go back. Um, all good, we'll see if we can't find these nannies and uh, yeah, see how we go. All right, see you in a bit. So we've driven away from the snapper, again, um, kind of weird to do, but we've been looking for some new ground, we found some broken sort of rubbly reef in 56, 58 meters. Um, got smaller markings just off the bottom, so we're kind of hoping that's gonna be nannies. No big markings here, so no arches, which we're hoping means there won't be any snapper. But um, we've been wrong before, so fingers crossed we can bring something other than a snapper along both sides. I don't see what we can find. Yeah. That was right on the bottom. Um well it's not a nanny guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a nanny guy, let's say that. Not a snapper. Nah, I'd say it's a snapper. Which means we'll probably have to leave now. It's got some weight. Nah, it didn't have the big, like, long shh, shh. filming still. Yeah. I don't know if it's a snapper. I don't know. It's no head shakes. Wouldn't be a stingray down that deep, would it? Not on a jig. And yeah, there's no, like, big arches or anything. No, there was stuff on the bottom before, but... Not like the snapper we were seeing earlier. Ah. Is he coming up much? Yeah, but it's not doing anything. It just feel heavy now. Yeah. But now that don't run like that. No, nannies do nothing. <laughs> I reckon it's going to be a snapper. You reckon? Just a really good one. <laughs> well, maybe it is a little shark. There's some weight there, hey. Shall we? No, Yeah, possibly. Unless you want to have a cast forward. Yeah, go on, do it. Well, what's 
coming up over the top there. That could be my fish. I don't think it's a snapper, hey. Kingfish, no. It was like right on the bottom. Go again. I'll be able to land it myself. Just feels really heavy. I just can't think what else it would be other than a snapper. Yeah. Is it coming up? Yeah. <clears throat> it's not reefy enough out here for kings. That's a bit more snappery, I think. But yeah, like literally, I mean, it was on the bottom. It ate it off the bottom. Unless it's like a school shark or something. Yeah. School shark on a jig? Is that a thing? It's just got some weight, eh? And I would expect if it was a snapper, once it gets to a certain point, they just sort of rise up, you know? I hope it's not hooked on the light gauge or whatever it is. Alrighty. What have we got here? Need anything yet? Ah. I'm seeing some life on the bottom though. Kidding yourself this time, buddy. <clears throat> if it's a snapper, it's going to be a big one. Yeah. But I just don't think it is, hey? Unless I've got like a snapper and a bit of weed or something. Nah. Slowly does it with those light hooks. Yeah, there's some weight there. Maybe I'm just being a ponce and <laughs> I need to bring it up. Maybe it is going to be a big nanny. I really don't think they fight though. I think they're just a dead weight. doesn't want to come to the boat. I'm starting to think king. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the first run wasn't big enough for a kingy though. Like kingies aren't affected by bar trauma. Yeah. And whatever this is, it hasn't been affected by it. Can you see it on the sound rattle? No. no. Like, big bangs. Do you feel like he's near the top? Yeah, he can't be far off. I hope it's not a snapper, hey. I, know. I really, really do. It sounds so weird. Keep bringing him up slow, eh? I 
feel like if he comes up nice and slow, he's not going to get that barotrauma pressure. Oh, it's a blue milk mong! Is it? Yes! Oh, wow! Oh, oh. oh. Sarah, look! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, it's Next a queen season. snapper. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome! <sighs> I'm not going to keep that. That is way too big. Wow! Look at that! that. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yes. Nice work. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, man, that is so cool. I hope you can see that, guys. That is the first blue morong I've ever caught, and it is a monster. That is so cool. Look how pretty it is. That's got to be one of the coolest fish I've ever caught, I reckon. That is wicked. Like fighting different Yeah. You got him? Yeah, I got him here. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Um, yeah, I'll show you this queen snapper or blue morong. Check that out. That is so cool. On the jig. So light gauge hook just in the mouth. That's why I couldn't go hard on him. Because that would have bent. Bent out. Man, I'm stoked with that fish. Let's get some pics. <laughs> That's awesome, well done. <laughs> Today's a first for lots of things. That is so cool. I've seen each of these fish, but never caught one. That's that. Yeah, you're good. Oh, man. I'm Yay, so well stoked. <laughs> that is wicked. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's got to be like one of the coolest fish I've caught in South Australia, I reckon. I didn't bring like the um, brag mat or anything to measure it. We'll have something here, surely. Oh, look at it. Light gauge hook is literally just pinned. Yeah, I'm not going to keep that. That's too big to keep. He'll release well too, I think. Look at that. Yep. So yeah, that's... um. That's one fish that we've managed to get past the snapper. Uh, that's my first blue morong. Um, caught on a jig and I'm absolutely stoked. What a beautiful fish. I think this guy's uh, too good to catch once, so we're going to release him here. Uh, he's looking pretty healthy. I'm going to see how he swims off. He doesn't look to be suffering from barotrauma. I think he's going to swim off real nice. Filming? See you later, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, that's so good. Yes. <laughs> that's cool to see him swim off like that too. You can still just see him. Got him? Is that on the bottom? Yeah. Cool. This might be the one we've been waiting for. Might be another one of those like Sergeant Baker critters. I reckon it might be a. It's fighting like that one before. Oh yeah, not dumb. Hello? I had one too, eh? Something down there. Yeah. It's a little whatever it is. 
feel like a dead weight at all. It did for all the way up except for little kicks now. Could it be? I reckon it's that one. Oh, that's a reef. Yeah, old mate knows. Don't take it while it's got a hook. Wait, mate. <laughs> Are you going to give it to him? I'll give it a try. It's, just, it's not small. No. Oh, he's gone. Go for it, mate. Right, mate. It's there. It's too deep for uh, him, Go on, Mr. Pelican. It's too deep for him. All right. You missed out. You had your chance. Here's your jig. This is the last drift. You're on camera now, so it has to be the last drift. Last drift. Ooh, looks good. Better not give my spot away. <clears throat> last drift of the last drift before the last drift. No, we've got to get going after this, eh? Scooch to your left. Yeah. Someone's going to get a good one here. It's going to happen. It's going to be you. Big blue moong, couple of, so. couple of photos, and then we're home. Some good ground down there. I can feel it bouncing along. Oh, look halfway up. I think we might. Um, have another shark situation. Oh dear. Oops. Yeah, maybe I'll swap our jigs over to something smaller. Oh, there you go. What's it gonna be? I thought I had something weighing it down. Okay. What's that feel? Like? I don't know. Weird. Oh, that's what obviously what's been nibbling on our. Yeah. What is that guy? Hold on to the camera. Another oh, cool little species. 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 Actually, how do you even say it? Species. Species. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? It's been a bit weird. Is that a nanny? Could it be the elusive nanny? Do us a favour and mark um, this spot when you get rid of that. Because this has got really good ground here. I feel like it's going to be a reefy. <sighs> if it's one of your little buddy. Whatever those hull... I don't even know what those fish were. Oh, I see something. Uh, it's red. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. What is that though? I don't know. It's a parrotfish. Oh, what the? Wow. So much reef situation. I know. There you go. Yeah, I think he's cooked. I can honestly say I don't... Yeah, oh, he is. Oh, he's like thing. cooked does. You want these? Um, yeah. <laughs> I think we might have no choice with this guy. I don't think he's going to release, unfortunately. It's kind of guts are coming out of his mouth, so like really coming out of his mouth. They're like all out. 
That'll do us, I reckon, say. Yeah. Well, we were over it. For sure, you marked that spot, didn't you? Yeah. Thanks. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, don't want to waste this guy. I'll knock some fillets off him at home. Oh, I'll knock some fillets off him at home. Really? You eat him? Yeah. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're uh, on our last drift, kind of trying to pack up and thought I'd have one more drop. I think I'm hooked up. Let's see what we got. Missed it. Missed a really good run before. Bit of weight there again. Be nice if it was another one of those blue more. How's my camera angle? Yeah, you're good. There's some serious weight behind it again. Oh yeah. Reckon not. Just for later. Marine reference. Still fish on the bottom, Sarah. Yeah. It's fighting a little bit more snapperish than anything else. Oh, uh, maybe not. That was obviously right on the bottom when it took it, yeah? Yeah, pretty close. Man, if this is another Morlong, this one could be Weber bound. If it is Morlong, it came out of um, a pack of them. Nah, I reckon it's going to be a snapper. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see if I straighten the hook or if I just dropped it. No, just dropped it. Huh. Now the hook's all good. Yeah. I wonder if it was a Morlong. <laughs> and it was just in its soft little mouth. Yeah. Because it wasn't like float, like coming up like a snapper does. Dropped it. Good fish. <laughs> Damn. Well, we're off the water after an awesome day down at Cape Jervis. Um, new ground to us so it was awesome to explore and found some fish so even better it started with cool pre-dawn squid bite and then headed out deep chasing uh well we were chasing nanny guy didn't find any nanny guy but we found some awesome ground and um found some great reefies as well all, all on the jigs so good session and yeah we'll definitely be coming back down so got some footage to work through um, I reckon we'll be able to put something pretty cool together but for now we've got to go get home get the boat washed and uh, I think it might be squid and chips for dinner so righto thanks for tuning in again see you next time